Well, East was first started at the end of last year. I pitched the idea to our assistant principal. The school's always supported us. The principal has tried to get us better equipment, better standards for us to play in. On Mondays, uh, we have scrim and training practice uh, with the Chiefs and Chiefs, so they're our representative team. Wednesdays, we have mindset training for an hour with me. Students go through resilience, mindfulness, uh, teamwork, strategy. The next hour after that, the students go into the gym. So they're pushing weights. Your body needs to be in tip-top shape for you to be able to perform the best you can on the esports field as well. The morale in the gym, that's really good. Just getting together, doing gym with the boys, pushing each other to the limits, that's really helpful. Starting at the gym, they, I think most of them tore up on their first session because they weren't really ready for what I hit them with and now they, it's a completely different dynamic as you can see around here. They absolutely, they love it, they're getting into it, they've made huge improvements in their strength. Being able to lift weights that I could never have imagined. I've seen improvements in their confidence as well um, and friendship and, and their uh, League of Legends ability. So as a whole, they've made huge strides. On Thursdays, we have a development program. They get together and they learn about esports. Then after that, they break off into their teams and we have our internal tournaments as well. And that's our holistic approach to esports. I think when we first played at the Echo, we were finally doing something as a collective outside of just our little room up in the IT computer's room. Microlacto has more range, has more damage, there is the ace, and that will be the game going over to Chisholm College. It was nerve wracking because like, I don't know how many people in the crowd looking at you and just whenever just, you would make a bad move or you'd make a good move, they'd react and seeing that in the crowd just a different experience to what we usually play in. We've also seen grades improve, attendance improve, um, as well as just general manners and well-being around the college. The school has really put a lot of time and effort, especially Mr Mendes, the coordinator, he's put a lot of his time and a lot of his effort into us and I really appreciate that. Every school should be involved, every school should be giving an opportunity to these kids. This is something that's the way of the future. We can't stop that, we should embrace that. We should give them an opportunity to shine and to flourish.